Hello chaps and chapettes. Um, I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a video, so here I am. Um, I've been pretty busy um, at work and also I've been doing a lot of inner work as well. So um, I've taken some time out just from any anything extra I've been doing over my sort of daily work. Um, but yeah, I'm back and today actually I wanted to talk about um, safety. So we've all seen what's coming on in the news. Um, and I want to talk about adverse childhood experiences, not only from our point of view, but also how we can potentially prevent our children from experiencing any sort of um, traumas that maybe we have. OK, so adverse childhood experiences, everybody thinks that this might be the worst case scenario. But actually, an adverse childhood experience is um, any anything that happens to us as children where we didn't feel safe and secure or we didn't feel that we had somebody that we could turn to. So this could even be just getting bullied at school um, and not actually having a parent that, you know, made us feel safe and secure. Um, you know, it could be, you know, unfortunately, maybe, you know, the bereavement of a beloved pet and not getting the comfort from, you know, a, a guardian or an adult um, to let us know that it was going to be OK. And, you know, we're, this last 20 months, the media... Um, schools, uh, social media, everything is basically talking about people not being safe. Um, and I want everybody to think about how that's going to impact their children later on in their life. OK, so their interpersonal relationships and um, their employment status and potentially even their addiction. OK, there's a lot of science that is now showing and has been shown for quite some time, actually, especially under the work of doc Dr. Gabor Mate, that adverse childhood experiences frequently leads to addiction. OK, so um, this is about us feeling safe, but it's also a little reminder that we have to make sure that our children feel safe and secure at all times and also that they are not to blame for anything. They're just children. OK, so. Let's have a little tap on safety. Now, this may trigger some some people that are doing this. Um, just remember, you are always safe. And this tapping is, is basically to remind you of that. At all times, as I always say, if there's something that you do need to talk or delve into deeper, deeper do go and get professional advice. Even though I've not felt safe in the past, I deeply and truly love, trust and accept myself. And even though I may not feel safe now, I deeply and truly love, trust and honour how I feel at all times. And even though I don't feel very secure or safe now or ever, I deeply and truly love, trust and accept myself. Safety and security. 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 I've experienced times where I did not feel safe. I've experienced times where I felt quite alone and really craved security that was not provided for me. There have been times where I've not feel, felt safe at home, at work, or in my body. This safety and security that I deeply need to feel secure within myself. It creates so much anxiety and hypervigilance. I just want to feel safe, safe in my body. Safe going to work. Safe being at home. Safe being out. Safety and security. At all times. And 
not to feel anxious and to feel peace and to feel safe in my body and to feel safe. So maybe this feeling of lack and safety and security comes from somewhere else that I've forgotten about or that I've dismissed. Dismissed because it seemed irrational when actually any feeling that I have is absolutely valid. And I have to trust myself and how I feel. We're all just a product of our own experiences, which are all valid. But when we can see this and see where it comes from, we can see that we are safe. We're safer than our brain's been telling us anyway. I have to trust myself. My beautiful body. I am safe. So maybe I just have to choose to release this anxiety. Choose to release this anxiety. Look after myself and my family. And make everybody safe. Let them know it's going to be okay. And that they are always safe and secure just as I am always safe and secure. I am safe and secure in my body. And I can let my whole family know just how safe and secure they are. I can reassure them that it's going to be okay. That they are always safe and secure. Safe at home. Home is the safest place. Always be safe at home. And I will always make them feel safe. Safe and secure. I choose to release all anxiety. I choose to feel peace within my body. I choose to feel safe and secure at all times. I release all this anxiety. I release all of this anxiety. I choose relaxation in my body and I choose to feel peace. Okay, hope that's helped. Um, any requests for any topics, as usual, just ping me a message. Okay, have a beautiful day.